today we will play a game. You like to play a game, no? Say more like. Play more like. This is a game. Like this, today we are going to play a game with names. Names. N A M E S. Names. What's my name? Anybody knows? My name is Thomas Matthew. What's your name? Mini. You are Gio. And you are Sylvie. And next, Gaudam. Gaudam. Send it. So now we play with, we can continue playing like this. Asking my name, your name, his name. Like that. Now let's see. Let us think of today. What is the name of today? Monday. Monday. Isn't it? Monday. What are the other names of the week? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you have a holiday. Saturday, and one more holiday, Sunday. So these are names. Names of the week. What month is this? June. Names of names of of the days. Names of the days of the week. Now names of the months of the year. Name. Names of the days of the names of the days of the week, names of the days of the month. See for example, June, then July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Look at that. So in between you have got two holidays, isn't it? That is. April and May. These are holidays. Right? You enjoy it. After that you come to the classes in the month of June. So you have got my name, your names, many names are there. I have written only few. And names of the days of the week. Send it. Names of the days of the week. Names of the days of the months of the year. They got names. Send it. Okay. Now you look around. You look around the class. You will find many other names. What are the names that you find? You find them? What? You find board. Just in front of you, you have got the board. Board. What are you sitting in? Chair, your chair. Then are you keeping your books? Your table, chair, table, table. So you have what? Board, chair. What about this? This is a pen. Your pen. You have in your what is that thing? Bag. Yes. So you have bag. Look at this. So these are also names. Now, my name, your name, names of the days of the week, names of the days, months of the year, and around you. What do you, what do you see? You have to make a, slowly, what is called as very, very few names you have given. Now let's go out. Let's go out of the class and see. Let's take a two of this. Compound. What do you find there? 
This is your garden. You have got the garden. And in the garden, you, what do you get? What do you see in the garden? Plants, then flowers. What is this flower? Rose. It's the names of flowers. Rose. See that? What about that one? That, that is jasmine. Yes. Jasmine. So these are names of flowers. Now you look from there, there. What is that thing? Tree. Yes. Trees. You find trees. Many trees are standing. Many trees are. See, what are those things? Flying. A small bird. That black bird you see everywhere. Crop. Yes. That is crop. You know all these things, isn't it? Now if you go to a suppose you are now in a forest. Okay, from here we go. Then you go to a forest. Then well, what do you see? You will see trees, plants, but you see animals. What is the animal that you see? There are number of them standing. They are playing, they are jumping, they are climbing, you know. Monkeys. Monkey. There are monkeys. Then, you see down there, you can see snakes. Yes. Snakes. Do you know how many because we are with you? Your teachers are with you. Snakes. Snakes. So birds, snakes, trees. Now look, up there you will find something. Stars. Yes, you can see stars. Stars. Sun you can see. Moon also you can see. Not very clear, but you can see that. Then moon you can see. Sun, stars, not very clear, but still you can see that. Right? Okay. Let's come back. Let's go to your house. What do you find there? Who are the members? The father. Yes. Father is there. Then, who is the next? Mother. You have your sister. Your brother. Isn't it? Your brother. Then who else? You find this? Your pussy cat. Yes. Cat. That bow bow. Your dog. Look that. So, you see names. And if you go to the kitchen, what do you, what do you find in the kitchen? You will find spoon. Spoon you will find. Listen. You will find the salt, sugar, Sugar. Do you eat sugar? Yes. Do you steal sugar and eat? You like eating sugar? Yes. Okay. Now look at this. You find this. Lots of names. You find. Names of persons you find. Names of the days of the week you find. Names of the months of the year you find. You find the, in your class different things. Names. Then in forest you find. Trees you find. Flowers you find. So what is, what are all these things? These are names of persons, things, trees, flowers, birds, animals. Understand? These are names. So what do you call these names? You call them names. But in grammar, there is one word for this. Do you know what is that one word? Anybody? All these things, names. They are called nouns. Nouns. So, what is a noun? What is a noun? Noun is the name. The name of a person. Person, your person, isn't it? Then, the name of the days. The name of the months, right? Name of animals, name of up in the sky, twinkle, twinkle, little star, isn't it? Names, right? Names of things in your class, you can make a big list of that. The names of the things that you find in your family, members are there, in your house you will find many other things. Entertainment, for example, TV. You have got TV, isn't it? You have got lots, lots of other things that are made, I don't know, no? such things. So everything comes under 
one single word in grammar. Grammar I have told you last class, no? grammar is nouns. So these are our nouns. So you know, now what is a noun? This is the first thing that you should study. Now, in grammar, in language, any language you begin with nouns. You remember the first word that you said when you were a small infant? Maybe you may not be remembering. Mamma. Mamma. That's a noun. You understand that? So, noun is the basis of our language. Can be any language, Malayalam or English or Hindi, any. So, to start with, when you start learning a language, what should you know? You should know names. And what do you call these names in grammar? In grammar you call them nouns. I am a noun, you are a noun. He is a noun. Your father is a noun. Your mother is a noun. You can go home this evening and say, Good evening noun. You greet your father like that. Your father will think, what, what has happened to you? Then you say, See, in grammar you are a noun. I am also a noun. Don't beat me. I am a noun, you say like that. Understand? So you can kiss your father. You are kissing a noun. And the kiss itself is a noun. Now you understand now. Everywhere. Nouns, nouns, nouns. And what is a noun? Noun is a noun is the name. Noun means name. Okay. Now what you find here you will find on this board you will find. Some words are written with big letters. See here. T. See here. M. See here. G. C. G again. The big letters. What do you call these big letters? These big letters are called the capital letters. You remember I told you in the last class? What is capital letters? Or capital letters of the English alphabet. English alphabets we can write in two ways. What are the two ways? One is the big way. Or you call it capital. Capital. The other is small. You remember? See, these are for example small. The big T is like this. This is small P. The big P is written like this. This is small B. The big B is written like this. Like this. So you can see on the board some words are written. They start with the capital letters. See this. T, M, G, C, yes. Why? Because those names are names of persons. Names of the days of the week. Names of the month of the year. Also you will find Taj Mahal. Written like this. Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Because that is the name of a, a very important building. This is a, what is one of the wonders of the world. Or you find uh, Himalayas. You write like this. Himalayas. Himalayas. Why? Because that is a great mountain in the world. In the world. You understand that? So when do you write? When do you start writing a name with capital letters? When it is the name of a person? When it is the name of the days of the week? When it is the name of the months of the year? When it is the name of a great building? When it is the name of a house? When it is the name of a book? Like Ramayana. Ramayana. 
ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಅವ್ರು ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಮಹಾಭಾರತ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ ದೇಶ ವೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಕೋಲ್ಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ನೌಮ್ಸ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ನೌಮ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೇಟ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ಸ್ they are particular they belong to that particular person or book or mountain or building they cannot be used by anybody else for example your name my name is i told you thomas nathi this cannot be used by anybody else this is my name my property so such names are called proper nouns proper nouns so you have now two kinds of nouns one is proper noun but about this see written in small letters table pen bag bag you can you can think of any bag table it can be any table any one table table is a name given to all tables you can say you can say this table that table long table short table then small table big table dining table all these are tables or you can say trees it's not particular tree but all the trees any tree such nouns are called no? common nouns common common nouns because this name is can be used for any one in that group any one table any table pen any pen bag any bag trees any tree crop any crop okay? monkeys any one snake any snake rose any rose but if we say any say india india you cannot use this word for any other country only india only our country india so particular i told you. or when you say america america that can be used only for america you got the point or if you say your name for your teacher's name Seema. You can call only that person Seema, not any other person. So such names are called proper. Proper means, this is your property. Property means you, this is your own property. This is your own. It cannot be given to anybody else. Your own. Like your bag is your own. your book is your own you have written your name there nobody else can take it away from like that you india only this country can be called india but here god any god god any god so i hope you understand what is a noun noun is name of things persons countries nations sun moon river sea and the things name all the names names are divided into two kinds you can say one is proper nouns means names of persons etc you cannot exchange there is no exchange listen to that this can be in this the only you can say only only name proper noun is the name of that person or that building or that book or that country or that river only ganga only one ganga yamuna only one yamuna 
So these are proper nouns. Others are common nouns. Isn't it? Now, we started like this noun. Noun, we said noun, nouns. Our first division is, what is first division? Proper. Proper. And the second one is common. Common, proper nouns. Common nouns. Proper nouns are, think of even name, that is a proper noun. You cannot give it to anybody else. Clear. And common nouns, any. You can have table, chair, etc. The common nouns, that is very really interesting. How many? No. One. Two. Three balls, four balls, how many? Five balls. So what have I done now? One, two, three, four, five. What have I done? What have I done? I have counted, counted. Now look at this. One, two, three, four. How many pens? Four pens. So what I have done? I have counted them. There is a very famous Hindi song. Do you know? Ek do teen cha panch esa tarak no das yara barat tera. What does that mean? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what I do? That is what I have done is counting. So in this case, we are now studying noun. We saw noun is the name. Proper noun means name of a person, a particular person. One and only one. Common noun means names of things that you can give to you know, you can give to a group. Monkeys group, you can see. Students, for example, students, you are sitting here, you are students. So what is student scorn? No. Because you are student, you are student, you are student, you are student, he is student, she is student. But if I say Jiva, it's only one. If I say students, all will stand up. Because it is applicable to everyone. But if I say Jiva, only one person will stand up. If I say Godam, only one person will stand. I said, go there and please stand up, or the others will only sit. Others will not stand up. Why? Because others are there only. I hope now you understand. Yes. Now we come to common. Then in common nouns you saw. When do you see? Counting. But suppose you have water. Water. Can you count water? You cannot count. So in one these common nouns you can count and some other common nouns like water, milk you cannot count. Can you say one milk, two milk, three milk? No. Same thing water. Can you say one water, two water? No, no you cannot do that. Salt. If you get into Today when you go home, you should get into the kitchen and find out this salt. Can you count it? One salt, two salt, three salt. You cannot do that. You cannot count. Sugar. You can eat it, but you cannot uh, count it. Can you count? One sugar, two sugar, three sugar. Just as I, have, I was counting this one ball, two balls, three balls, four balls like that. It's not possible. So some nouns, common nouns, you can count and some you cannot count. Count counts. So some common nouns you can count, you call them countable. Then common nouns you cannot or count, they are called the uncountable. Opposite. Happy. What is the opposite of happy? Unhappy. So, countable. What is the opposite of countable? Uncountable. 
For example, we have got counterbalance table. All these things we have got chair. You can count pen. You can count. But water, you cannot count. Milk, you cannot count. Salt, you cannot count. Sugar, you cannot count. Rice, you cannot count. You cannot go and say one rice, two rice, three rice like that. So what? You can count like one, two, three, four, five. You call them countable nouns. They got lots of them. Book countable nouns. Students, you can count. They get numbers. You see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that is counting. See, uncountable nouns. So you have T. Have you got T with you? You cannot count it. One T, two T, three T, and I can. Or coffee. One coffee, two coffee, three coffee. You cannot do. Understand? So, countable common nouns and uncountable common nouns. Now, we have studied one of the basic idea in grammar. What is the basic idea? The foundation. What is the foundation? Now. So, now we have seen nouns are names. All the things in this world are nouns. I already told you, I am noun, you are noun, she is noun, the father is noun, mother is noun, shirt is noun, pants is noun, spectacles here, noun, hand, parts of your body, you yourself, man, boy, everything is noun. And then we saw two. What are the proper nouns? What is proper? Property. Own. You own. Your house is your own. Like that your name is your own. Tajimahal. The name is Tajimahal's own. Akbar. It's Akbar's own. You cannot assign your and give to somebody else. No, it's not possible. So, proper and own. Then what did you say? There is a division here. That is common, countable, that you can count, and the uncountable, you cannot count. You cannot. Easy to remember is countable students, very easy. No? Students, you can remember that. Students. Because you are a student, uncountable sugar, because you always think of Stealing sugar from the kitchen and eating. It's a small thing. That is there. We are doing things. Okay. Now, now we can see countable nouns. We are now coming to this countable nouns. See what happened. What is this? One pen. When you have one more, what will you say? Two pens. One more. Four, three pens. And one more. Four pens. So, one pen, one pen means single. There is only one, so it is single. Single. Isn't it? Single. Single T. Some people will say, give me a single T. What does that mean? Only T. No other things like snacks or biscuits. Single T. You can see single people, single, what are the single means? You are single now. Means you are not married. You are single. So single means one. Single means one. One. Only one number. This one number. Single. This is single. My shirt. Single. Only one shirt. I have not put on two shirts. Only one shirt. Then one here I have only one duster, one duster. Here I have got only one board with me, one board, single, a single board. Here there is only one pencil with me, single pencil, single. One pen with me, one dot pen, single. So one. Single, the number, how many? Number, how many? 
one single in grammar that is called the singular singular number one number or singular grammar is single singular number so for example when you say this is singular number understand then you have more than one see i have got two or three or four hundreds of them i have got the three balls here two more of them five six seven eight nine ten eleven so any number that is in grammar is a plural plural number plural number singular number and plural number so what is singular means one if it is one only one then that is singular singular one plus one that is plural plural one plus one plus one same plural one plus one plus one plus Two plus three plus five plus six plus again plural. So then, what is plural? What is singular? Singular means one. And plural means more than one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All plural. Plural number. So now, what we say? We are starting with nouns, the basic, the foundation stone of grammar, English grammar. We started with nouns and names. Names you have got the proper and the common. Proper means personal. You are belonging to that particular. Only one common means can go anybody come anyone in that group. You can apply students, any students. Now then we saw these nouns some are countable. You can count one, two, three, four. Like pen students. Then uncountable means you cannot count. See like you should. Now countable nouns. There are for two numbers. If it's a in grammar, how many numbers in grammar? How many numbers in in how many numbers in mathematics? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like that. But how many numbers in English grammar? Only two. What are they? They are singular number, singular number, and plural number. Singular number and plural number. You need not repeat this number number. That is understood. So we will say singular and plural. Singular, singular and plural. So it's very interesting. Step by step, when you study, you try to. See, when you are studying grammar, you are trying to understand the world around you. Suppose, suppose you find five persons coming towards you. If you don't know this number, idea of number, you will say one, 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 one coming. One, 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 one coming. But if you know this, you will say five persons are coming. If you don't know the number. The idea of number is how many students are in this class? One, 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 one. What a funny thing! But if we know this number, you will say singular. One, four. You will say eighteen students. More than one is okay. Very good. So it's very practical. Learning grammar is. Practical and very, very important in our life. Otherwise, how will we communicate? I have to say, you saw five birds on a tree. 
and you want to come and you want to come to me and say that there are five words. How will you say that if you don't know this number? You will say three, one word, one word, one word, one word, one word. See how difficult it is, isn't it? But if you know this number, you say there are five words, plural. If there is only one hundred, I said one hundred and five words. Did you understand this? This is how grammar becomes thrilling. I told you, you know, in the other class I told you, study of grammar is very thrilling, very interesting. Without this, you will not know anything about this world. See that? So, that's fine. You have got nouns, means names. We have got two kinds of nouns. See? First division is proper noun and the common noun. Proper noun means particular to that person or thing or book or building. Think of your noun, that is your, 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 your name. That is proper noun. Common means you can apply that name to anyone in that group. Monkey. Example, monkey. Any monkey. Table, any table. Very common nouns you have two divisions. Counting, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, you can count. Door, you can count. Building, you can count. Balls, you can count. What I have shown you now? One, see? Two, like two. So you can count. So they are called countable nouns. And uh, what, that you, what you cannot count, sugar. Rice, coffee, tea, you can, but biscuit you have known. one, two, three, four. And then countable nouns, you have got the two numbers. What are they? When they are only one, you will say singular. More than one, you will say plural. It's very interesting, huh? Yes. Now, we are going to enter into a very Thrilling, another thrilling area in Yama. Some kind of game. Yama, actually it is a game. Yama means a game. It's a game. Just as you play chess. It's a game. Like. Now you have got one. You got a pen. That means only one pen. One pen. One pen. Some must be one. You understand? There are more than one. What will you do? It's very simple. English is a very simple language in that way. You just add an S to this. Pen, one. Plus S. You will get a pen. This is plural and this is singular. Plural. Like like music, this musical right? is that right? Pen, pens. So. Boy, what is the plural? This is singular. This this is boys. See that boys, boys. Girl, girls. See that this plural. Table. Tables. See that? Yes. Now, board. What is the plural? What is the plural? Boards. So simple. Boards. Park. Park. What is the plural? Plus S. Plus S. Chair. Chairs. Flower, flowers. I think that now that is clear. So if you have got 18, so student is single. Suppose you have got more than one student in the class, you will say 10 students, 15 students, 20 students. Like that. So it becomes very easy. Okay? I hope that you enjoyed this, isn't it? What is noun? Proper noun, common noun. Common nouns countable, uncountable. Countable nouns are two numbers. 
the plural and in English you can make plurals by plus one. Plus one means what? By adding an S at the end of any countable number. Okay? So we find go home and make it. On a sheet of paper, you write down all the nouns that you find in your house, the surrounding place, in your garden. Look up and see the birds flying, see the sun, moon, etc. Sun, you cannot have now plural, no, you cannot have plural or sun and moon. Because there is only one. You cannot say sun, sun, then moons. But stars are possible. So, make a list of that. Then, you in the worksheet you have different columns. In one column you write proper nouns, another column you write common nouns. Then again you divide the common nouns, see which are the countable nouns, which are uncountable nouns, and after that you you do some work of your own by adding yes, singular and the plural. So combined with added energy, boost is the secret of my energy. Take some boost and drink. Tomorrow you will become healthier and come back. You will have more about more thrilling things I will tell you about English grammar. Okay? Fine.